This is 34-year-old Diana, a medical nurse that really got messed up by medicine. She had neck pain, got injected by some medical hack, and then had carpal tunnel so bad, 31 MRIs, 24 doctors, a list of drugs you can't believe. Look at this hand. You will not believe. This is her hand after the injection of the epidural one time in her neck. She has atrophy. She can't use it. Her hands are permanently stuck like this. She had to quit her job because she couldn't articulate her hand anymore. It's destroying her life. We did a little chiropractic exam here trying to find out if she has any other issues. We took x-rays of her. Look at how bad her atlas is. Awful reverse curve and worn out atlas. Here you can see 31 millimeter imbalance. Terrible. We actually never treated her. I wanted you guys to see this story because it's so important. My name is and just first names, first Diana. Name. How old are you? I am 34 years old. Gotcha. And you're from Southern California with me. I've done many treatments and nothing has actually worked for uh, my neck pain my arm numbness uh, for three years. I'm an RN and I have recently resigned as an RN. Okay. Um, my hands have gotten so weak, my fine motor skills have gotten so weak where I can't spike my bags or start an IV. I can't do, I can't do majority of the things so I used to. So it made you quit your job? When I wake up and my neck and my arm is like burning and if I start out like in a you negative know, way yeah negative the, the way, family hears day, the wrath yes gotcha like I can't really cook much or like I can't do like small intricate things like you know cutting you know cutting vegetables mm -hmm. to cook or taking taking a bath of my daughter and like putting on a shirt but I can't button the oh thing. so you've lost really a lot of coordination yes. then too wow muscle atrophy and all that. Wow, three years. What have you done to try to solve this problem? So I've seen pretty much, I've seen a hand doctor, I've seen um, a spine specialist, I go to a neuro neurologist every month, and then um, I saw an acupuncturist, and um, I just can't... Um, Any chiropractors in there? No chiropractors. Oh, okay. you know, I saw a neuro chiropractor, which I've never heard of before, mm -hmm. but um, I saw him once, and he. I saw him, and he flared up my neck and. My he tried head. to adjust you. He didn't adjust me. He used this like, <laughs> like this little tool that does like this. Uh, clicking thing. Clicking thing. Yeah. 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 Um, surgery. None of the neurologists, neurosurgeons, and anybody, they do not want to touch my spine. Good, you're lucky actually, because yeah. that would be much worse. Yeah, I've gotten 33 MRIs. <laughs> I've never heard that 33 before. 33 MRIs, yes. And what was the accident, by the way? I actually had neck pain, did everything I can before I, you know, came in to see a doctor. A pain management recommended um, to do a cervical epidural to get some type of relief because I didn't want to go on pain meds. And so I was like, I agreed to do a cervical. And this was three years ago? This was three years ago. I went in and I did a cervical epidural. Um, it took eight minutes. I came out and I was completely paralyzed from my head to my toe. Hmm. Yes. Come in, you're going to be doing these new patient things, but when I see somebody write like this and draw deeply and make all these marks about how bad they are, I know that they're here. She brought me this, type it out. When you guys come here, type all this stuff out. So here's all the medical diagnosis she's had. Here's all that she had the epidural that caused all this. And this is all the stupid diagnosis that uh, her doctors gave us that she's being treated with by drugs. Why you're not getting better? Well, they said that there is no um, actual diagnosis. They, um, well, they diagnosed me something called complex regional pain syndrome, which there is no, you know, diagnosis. Is it even on the internet? That? It is. Oh, it is. I never it's heard it before. It's a legit yeah. diagnosis, and there's actually no... You're, treatment you, for it. Yeah, no treatment yeah. for it. We the other one, the symptoms. you know, the, the other one was it that they haven't diagnosed her yet with, or she's heard this, fibromyalgia. I'm sure they <laughs> probably want to. Because, uh, but that diagnosis is getting a little overdone, so now they came up with another fake diagnosis to cover the stuff. How many doctors have you seen, by the way, a specialist? I have seen uh, a spine, a spine specialist. Just give us the numbers, yeah. Uh, let's do Just what, give me a round 24. About 24 in the last three yeah. years. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of you medical hacks out there that are watching this video are that, hacks. She has not been helped by any of them, and you're gonna be like, well, I'm better than them. 24. 24, and she's still here. Okay, so here's all the drugs she takes. Ding, 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 ding. I've done um, 
about four or five uh, nerve stimulation test studies. And what do you call the day that you got the epidural? You called it the injury day. The injury. Never heard it put that way, but that's exactly right. So you people out there that are watching this, be careful of those shots. They don't always help. I'm gonna push down your head, mm -hmm. and this sh should hurt, so sorry if it does, but tell me mm -hmm. where it does, okay? okay? I'm gonna push down. Any pain there at all? Yeah, it actually, my head doesn't hurt, but my shoulders. Across the whole shoulders? The across gotcha. the whole entire shoulders. I'm just going to push down here. This should hurt again, but let me know. That one? That one hurt my shoulder. I down, it's down more here? Mid. Yes, gotcha. there you go. And let's check this side. This shouldn't, shouldn't hurt as much. We'll see. That one. Yeah, it didn't hurt. But the back pain? No. Can you move your hand, please? That at all? Nothing? Um, that just actually hurts my, um, knee? my leg. Gotcha. Knee. <laughs> How about this one? This one hurts my leg and knee too. Same? Same. Gotcha. How about this pain right here, yes? Yeah. More here or more here? Um, on the top. On top? I'm gonna work my way up here. Pain here at all? Yeah. How about here? Yeah. This one? That one's really painful. More here or more down here? More on top. More on top? Let's check your neck now. More here or more here? Oh, uh, you know, can you do that again? Hmm? This one mm -hmm. or this one? That one's more pain, but the first one you did is like way tightness on the right side of my neck. What is this called again? A Wartenberg wheel. Yeah, what is it for? I don't know. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're, you're, I was like, oh my God, I was going to get check, hurt. To, to check like a... Dermatones. You know, dermatones? Derm dermatones, dermatones. Yeah. Tell me if it's the same or different from side okay. to side. I cannot feel on that side. Good. Perfect. Let's see? Same thing? Can't feel. Thumbs up, please. No. No. All the same thing dead on the side, right? Yeah. Put your hand right here. So show us your hand. So see how you can see her hand, guys? See, this is her manifestation of the loss of strength and muscle in her. Her forearm has made her hands do this. It's almost like mallet fingers. Yeah, and they, so, like a, kind of like a, what's it called? What do they call it? Like. Well, they have it on the toes like this. You see on the toes? <laughs> but she has inability. She has a her. A claw hand. A claw hand, yes. Yeah. The claw, the claw. <laughs> and so her whole forearm, all this uh, great ink work is not over any muscle anymore. Because why? Because the neurology from the brain is not getting there. Mm -hmm. So her hand is now adapted to that. So if you guys ever have a hand like this, and you're like, why is it like this? And why do you drop things? That's why. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to get in there. See? Look, she can't. She can approximate these fingers properly, but she can't approximate these. Mm -hmm. And look at how she holds her fingers, how different they are, guys. Okay, cool. 30, 25, 12. Actually, now walk back until you touch. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, right there. Okay, guys, uh, I'm looking at Diana's x-rays. As you can see, 18 degree scoliosis here. Look at how far off her head is. I mean, this is 34.7 millimeters terrible TMJ. Look at her left shoulder. It is way the hell out. Now I know why all those other doctors have not helped her. So most chiropractors would start looking at this. Maybe the scoliosis is the problem. You know, I'm a little worried. I mean, could it be the scoliosis or could it be your neck? Again, balance is the key in my book, but look at her jaw. So the hard part about making a decision about my work is which is the worst part. He's not even here for low back pain, but look at how this scoliosis is 17 degrees here. And in my mind, how much is this a contributing factor? Is this something I should worry about? Because look at this, look at the calcification. She has had this so stinking long that her body is seizing up and she's so young. Look at the constipation. I mean, maybe she has a constipation problem that's causing her back to be worse. I mean, think about it. It's not necessarily a straightforward case. This is a scary one. Look at this massive amount of calcification in her ribs. Way too young to have ribs like they're 80 years old. I've got to check this out more because this posture is terrible. This is the worst I've seen in so long, I can't remember. Constipation's horrible. Look at how much wear is in her atlas. Look at how much arthritis she has. Tremendous arthritis in her low neck. Look at her posture, just awful, awful, awful. This one scares me, guys.